the shuttle's fuel tank. It may only be 130 miles to space, but to cover that distance, the engines will use half a million gallons of fuel. And that works out at two feet to the gallon. Despite the cost, however, NASA does need to test these engines once in a while. So they built this place in the wetlands of Mississippi. The first thing they installed was a huge loudspeaker, through which they played white noise to simulate the sound of a rocket. They then sent a number of trucks in different directions out into the wilderness, and the drivers were ordered to stop when the noise levels became acceptable. This gave them an imaginary boundary line, and anyone living on the inside of it was offered a simple choice. Stay, and you'll never hear another television program as long as you live. Or take the NASA shilling and get out. No one stayed, and NASA ended up with exactly what it wanted. 125,000 acres of nothing. They even had to move five cemeteries, because the noise they were planning on making would wake the dead. Uh, don't worry if you can't hear what I'm saying. Um, I couldn't even hear myself. This is the loudest sound you could possibly conceive. And, as it turns out, the cleanest. Now, the most amazing thing is that that cloud up there, which was generated by the engine, is just a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. It's water vapor. And in about an hour's time, someone in Mississippi is going to get wet washing. It will actually rain. I told you. It's raining. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Oh. NASA's playing God. It's making its own weather.